This video is going to teach you about rotation. It's going to teach you about rotational symmetry, how to rotate a shape around a point, and also how to describe a rotation. In this question, it tells you to state the order of rotational symmetry for each of the following shapes. To do this, you'll need a piece of tracing paper. And your tracing paper should always have an arrow labelled on it facing north so that you know where you've started your rotations. You start by placing the tracing paper over the shape and then you must trace the shape carefully with a pencil and ruler and mark a dot where you start, you're going to start your rotation from. You then take a pencil and place it in the center of the shape and then you rotate the tracing paper and see how many times the tracing paper fits the shape back into itself. So if you watch the tracing paper turn, it goes into itself once, twice, three times, four times. And you know you're back where you started because you made an effort to put that little dot there to show where you where you start. If we look at the next shape, again you put your tracing paper over the top of it. Trace nice and carefully. Put your pencil in the centre of the shape. And then rotate the tracing paper. So this one goes back into itself once, twice. Final shape, put the tracing paper over the top again, trace the shape, make sure you've got the dot to show where you start rotating, put the pencil in the centre of the shape, and then you rotate the tracing paper again. As you can see, that's not going into itself at all, apart from when it gets back. So that will be order of rotational symmetry one. So a shape never has or, uh, rotational symmetry of order zero. It will always go back into itself at least once, so it will always have an order of one, at least. The next thing we're looking at is rotation from a point. So there's a simple rectangle here. Again, you're going to need tracing paper with an arrow on it facing north. Make sure that your tracing paper covers the shape as well as the three, um, sorry, the, the centers of rotation, so the coordinates marked on your question. Trace the shape. And this time we take our pencil and we place our pencil on the, the point where we're rotating. And we hold the tracing paper down at this point using the nib of our pen or the nib of our pencil. Then we look at our question. It says to rotate 180 degrees. Now it doesn't say whether to go clockwise or anti-clockwise because if you go 180 degrees, that's a half turn. So you'd always end up facing the same way, no matter whether you went to the left or the right. So then if you trace your tracing paper, so you rotate your tracing paper around this point until it's gone 180 degrees, we end up there. Then you just should mark your shape after you've rotated it. So we know that we've reflected from point A, so I'm gonna label that triangle A. If we want to go from point B, I'm tracing with a different colour this time so you can see the difference. My pencil goes to point B. My tracing paper goes over the point B and over the shape, the rectangle that I've traced. And then I look at my instruction. It's 90 degrees clockwise, so my arrow is going to end up facing um, east because we're going a quarter turn. Uh, clockwise. 
So if I start to turn around this point, you can see our shape ends up in a completely different place. So that's a rotation around point B of 90 degrees. Again, I'm just going to put my tracing paper back so my arrow is facing north. I'm going to look at the third rotation now, which is rotating 90 degrees anti-clockwise. So again, tracing paper is over point C, and it's over the, the shape. I'm going to use green this time. So trace the shape. I'm going from point C, so I'm going to put my pencil at point C, and I'm going 90 degrees anti-clockwise, that means I'm going to be going 90 degrees to the left, so I'm going to end up facing, or well, my arrow on my tracing paper is going to end up facing west. So anti-clockwise this time. There we go. my tracing paper back to how it should start label that rectangle C and now we can do the last one so I'm going to trace this one with yellow my pencil is going to go to point D and I need to go 270 degrees clockwise that means I'm turning this way but rather than going just one quarter turn I'm going to end up going a three quarter turn so face east south and then west so I end up there my tracer maybe can now go away and I label that final rectangle rectangle D The final thing you might be asked in um, an exam or in a test is to describe the rotation that you can see. So we're going to start by looking at uh, rectangle A and we're going to say how do you get rectangle A to the position B, C, D and E. So we start by uh, tracing shape A to begin with. So I'm going to do that in black. Actually, I'm going to do it in yellow so you can see. So, there we go. It's in yellow so you can see that I've done that. So, that's our original rectangle, rectangle A. Like always in these questions, we need our tracing paper. And it's got its arrow there so we can see where north is. And we're going to start by reflecting, sorry, rotating even A onto B. So, Trace our original shape. I'm going to trace it in in red. Now, what we're going to do now we've traced shape A is we're going to rotate this tracing paper with the shape traced on it. But we don't know where to start the rotation from. So we just get our pencil and we're going to try loads of different points. So normally I try... Um, point zero zero first um, so I'm going to put my pencil there to hold the tracing paper and then I'm going to turn it okay so that red rectangle is never going to end up on B doing it that way so I can see that it's much more likely it's going to be near here so try moving my pencil to there and rotating the tracing paper Closer, but no. Let's go along a little bit more. I'm going to try here. Brilliant. And you can see that if you rotate from there, so that was we've gone clockwise. Uh, we can see the arrow is now pointing to the east, so we know that's 90 degrees. And it's rotated about point or coordinate even, 5, 1. So move my tracing paper away, put my arrow to the north as always and then I can 
say this is a 90 degree rotation clockwise about 0.51 so next I'm going to see if I can get my rectangle original rectangle A to go across uh, to rectangle C so again like I said normally start origin 0 0 because then you can move uh, in the x and the y direction from this point so I'm going to hold it down with my pencil and then I'm going to rotate the tracing paper so ah brilliant so that's worked straight away so that was a clockwise movement again 90 degrees because my arrow is facing east and it was about the origin so about coordinate zero zero so that's what I can put there. You can notice that I haven't said clockwise or um, anti-clockwise. Sorry, that's not the right one. Nitro is clockwise about zero, zero. This needs to go back. So it's the arrow is facing north. And I'm just going to make that rectangle blue to match the writing. Great. So now let's have a look at triangle A. Again, trace it. This time we're trying to get to D. So we've gone, done B, we've done C. Now we're going to try and get to D. I can see this is probably going to be more than just a quarter turn. I'm going to start at the origin again and see where I get to. So clockwise. 90 degrees brilliant it's worked again so the origin is again the point of rotation so zero zero we went clockwise and we went 180 degrees however if you're going to go 180 degrees it doesn't actually matter whether you go clockwise or anti-clockwise because you'll always end up facing the same way like we spoke about earlier so I only really need to write two pieces of information for this rotation, which is 180 degrees about coordinate zero, zero. And again, I'm just going to change that to being the correct colour. So now we're just looking at E. So again, we're going to trace the original shape A. And make sure that the tracing paper is oops, make sure the tracing paper is back with the north arrow facing north. And I'm going to start rotating. I'm going to put my keep my pencil at zero. And because it's in the um, top left quadrant of the graph, I'm going to try going anti-clockwise rather than clockwise this time. So. Okay, so that doesn't fit, so I'm going to go back, but it was close, so I'm going to try going to minus one zero, actually now I think I'm going to try going up, my pencil there, let's try this rotation again. Okay, this time we ended up too high, so I'm going to go back. So let's try this one here. Okay, rotate again. Aha, brilliant. There we go. So that is now mapped from A to E. So I just need to write now the information about it. So it's 90 degrees anti-clockwise about point zero one or coordinate zero one and then in your exam that's your three marks um, for the direction the point of rotation or the center of rotation and the amount at which you're um, turning so 90 degrees 180 degrees or 270 degrees